what gallery are we in today? We are here at Office and Park. Okay, and who are you and what's your role in the gallery? So I'm, I'm, I'm Johanna and this is Anne and uh, we are both uh, founder and director of this gallery. Great, thank you. Let's have a look inside. So when was your gallery established and why did you found it? Actually, we found it uh, four years ago and uh, we worked for a long time in the gallery system and then it was time for us to go uh, next step and so we thought it's good to be, um, to try it out, to, to be self-employed. Yeah, and actually we started off as a part and um, for us the role as a gallerist or being a gallery has always a little bit um, the question and therefore we decided to really see ourselves as a multi-dimensional space and as a platform for contemporary art. So we are also a gallery and we work with wonderful young artists, but we also really try to rethink um, structures of how a gallery can also approach a new audience today. Okay, and if there is, is there a specific artwork in the gallery that you would like to highlight? Yes, um, yeah, we started already with Lina Marie Emrich. This is a piece what she did um, in December last year, and this is one of the pieces we will also bring to Art Russell. It's called Hang It All. Yes, and it's actually a piece um, where she is really trying to visualize um, our society and our today's um, anxieties of being always in a fast moving world and where and how to calm down also a little bit. Okay, great. Um, so, what place does your gallery occupy in the art world? Yeah, actually we are a young gallery and we are trying uh, to build bridges between uh, the traditional art world and also with, uh, between the new technologies that are coming up, so digitalization is a big topic for us and place. And do you work with other galleries or organizations in the art world? Yes, um, actually what we can say is that we love collaborations because we le believe in networking and collaborations and we actually are now here in the space without an exhibition but the last exhibition that we had was um, a show about generative art and digital art and it was together with Panke Gallery which is also um, a non-commercial space here from Berlin for net art. So we actually like to collaborate a lot. Okay, and does that mean you have a lot of evolutions coming for the future? Or did you think about how you want to represent in the next 10 years the gallery? Oh, that's, that's a good question because we think that you always develop yourself through every project what you are doing. And we are, um, of course, uh, will think how the digitalization, also the whole um, developments with the NFTs and technology will bring in the future. We are working at the moment with two other girls uh, or um, professionals here from, the, from Berlin on an art and tech report about uh, art and tea collecting. And so, of course, there will be a lot of new things coming up and we try to be... Um, Overlooking the developments. developments, yeah. And I hear NFTs, does that mean you have a whole new audience of clients that would buy your art? How, how would you describe your audience? Actually, yes, we are, we, we are working on it and we, um, I would say we have a very young audience and people who just enter the um, art world. Um, this is, um, in Berlin, there's a, lot, there's a really vibrant uh, crowd, I would say, and we just started also this year recently a masterclass called How to Live with Art. Maybe exactly. you can tell a little bit. Yeah, actually the masterclass, it's an online live session of six um, masterclass sessions where we really start on how you would become interested in art and why you would like to um, collect art or why you would like to buy art. And so it's a really um, easy approach into um, yeah, trying to find your own way into the art world and finding what you like and what you experience in the world. And of course, this is what we want. We want participation because that is the beautiful part about uh, being a gallerist or working with artists to really bring them to an audience. Um, which can be, of course, uh, an audience from the art world, but also from the outside who wants to get a little bit deeper into that. And of course, we're talking there also about young and upcoming artists. For example, we have here a piece of Hanna Sophie Dunkelberg. We will show her also in uh, at Russell. She is uh, uh, not this piece exactly, but uh, other very current and very good pieces. Oh, super, yeah, really interesting. Is that also why you started the gallery? Or is there a specific personal reason? Actually, we start the gallery because we really uh, asked ourselves then um, what could be our role or what 
uh, we are really interested in, and then it was really about the mediation of art. And this is why we also call ourselves Office of Art, because we uh, to impart knowledge, to impart value is one of our main goals, uh, I would say. And for us, it's really, we really believe in that, that creativity and art could, um, is really the, the, the motor of development. So that's really, without, without it, you will not, the society will not develop, and that's why we think. We needed to do we needed Office in Part. <laughs> And office in part is physically in Berlin, but I can imagine that you are not only here for the, the German communities. Um, is that, does your gallery have an international identity? Yeah, we love to say Berlin, uh, like the galleries in Berlin and uh, everywhere, because we really believe in this kind of, uh, um, not, not stuck in a place anymore. So we are, we are global, everybody is global. And of course through the internet and all the developments, you, you not have to be just in one space anymore. Yeah. But it's actually very exciting because we will be the first time at Brussels or in Brussels with the galleries. So um, it will be, will be very interesting how um, the artists that we bring, because we bring mostly German artists um, that uh, are also um, already starting to be known here in, in, the, in, in this area or in Germany. So we will see how this uh, will work and how um, we are able to, yeah, to talk about the artists and bring the artists to a new audience there. So I think that's going to be very exciting as well. Um, and I hear German artists. Does that mean you work mostly with established artists? Or we also represent Actually, in the Yeah, I think it's both. We have very young uh, artists who have just recently came from the, from the art school, but we are working also with artists who are longer in the, in the field, like Jonas Simons or Constantino Mori, um, I don't know. Yeah, Pula Zinovig as well. Zinovig. Yeah. So it's, uh, I think it's a diverse mixture. Mixture. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I think we hear a lot of news and thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye, yeah, thank you.